When you run into one of these guys, your best bet is to take your time and just heal up. Try using hard materials and building multiple boxes and creating distance from the W Kier. What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, 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 man. This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, Bunch of Crunch Army. I hope you're in the house today because, you know, there's so many people that are struggling with depression and anxiety. And honestly, it's just because, you know, when you just think about all your problems and everything that's negative in your life, you're going to get depressed. That's how it is. But if you're in the Bunch of Crunch Army, man, aka the Motivation Army, man, our job is to inspire other people. Our job is to take all the negative attention off of our ourselves and put positive attention on others man making this world better one person at a time let's change this world man that's who we are bunch of crunch army let's get it whether you're a total beginner playing things like hype night and cash cups or a high level player doing events like fncs or other high-end tournaments playing fortnite competitive is a pretty interesting experience and you're bound to run into some interesting types of players in your experience so i'm so hyped because in this video we're going to be talking about five different types of players you're going to run into during arena scrims or tournaments and how you can actually counter their play styles and come out on top all right you got to stick around to the very end because this video is going to help you out tremendously and i got to ask you this in advance all right for our question of the day which type of player is your least favorite player to fight against Personally, mine is the guy who just sits around like 100 meters away and just keeps spraying at me for like no reason. Like, come on, bro. Like, there's no storm surge and you literally have zero chance of killing me. Why are you wasting your ammo like that? Let me know yours in the comments which type of player you hate fighting against. All right, with that said, bunch of crunch army. Say with me, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Woo! And let's get this going. Do you want to play like Mongrel, Benji, or any other pro player learn the techniques and training routines that all the pros use only at proguides.com okay you can get one-on-one -on -one pro coaching join live pro classes and watch pro courses from some of the best players in the world it's time to take your skills to a new level start winning your fortnite games now join pro guys today Now, one of the most frustrating and annoying things in competitive is the type of player who just wants to jump in your face and full spray you with their SMG. This player is known as the SMG abuser. I can't tell you how often I personally run into someone who just gets in my face with an SMG and just, just mouths me down instantly, even in just arena. This playstyle is definitely a pretty strong one and it doesn't really reward skill as much as, as it rewards stupidity. However, it's not insanely unfair either because there are still some consistent counters to this playstyle. Okay, so if you're struggling against these types of players, the first thing that you need to do is work on your situational awareness. If you can keep track of all your surroundings and stay focused, then you shouldn't have issues with being snuck up on like that. And if you're in a fight with one of these players, you're gonna wanna focus on getting angles and outplaying them. Instead of just letting them into your box and 50-50 you, because that's just what these players do, if you can outplay them with peaks and angles instead of a 50-50, then you're gonna find so much more success against these type of players. So whenever you find yourself in a situation where someone just wants to get in and WQ you with their SMG, make sure that you play them in a proper box fight instead of just letting them get their way and just abuse their SMG. If you can do this, they're not gonna be able to use their number one tool and chances are you're gonna get an easy kill on them. All right, guys, another quick thing that you can do is try to flip their aggression back in their face. All right, so most of the time, man, these guys are going to be outside of your box trying to push you. So try to get out of your box, obviously, you know, on the side they're not on, and flip the aggression back on them. So by the time these crazy gladiators realize what's happened, they're going to be right back on the lobby screen. Okay, for real, for real, try to flip the aggression back the other way. Whenever you run into a player like this, if you can do it correctly and avoid taking a 50-50, they're going to be in a much easier position to clean up the kill and win the fight. The second type of play that you're going to run into is the high ground warrior. These high ground warriors are the ones who will literally do anything, will completely throw away their chances at winning the game to try and get high ground in the end game. 
All right, don't get me wrong. Getting high ground is the key in the end game. I get it. I understand. But these dudes, like, they take it to a whole, like, another level. <laughs> They'll happily put themselves in the center of 10 players' crosshairs if it means they can get the feeling of being on high ground for a split second. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but you get my point, right? Like, high ground warriors tend to be newer to competitive and don't really truly understand yet when you shouldn't attempt to take height. No, Mr. High Ground Warrior, you shouldn't be trying to take high ground when the player on height has 1,500 materials and a perfect situation. That's just not how it works. So if you can see a high ground warrior in the end game, you're going to be in one or two situations, all right? Either on low or mid ground, or you may be the one on height who they're trying to steal it from. Okay, so if you're on the mid to low ground and a desperate high ground warrior starts W King height, it might be a fair idea to try and just help apply pressure to both the players up top, which might even give you the opportunity to push up and take out yourself. So, okay, so if you're the player on high ground and some psycho comes and tries to take it, I recommend standing your ground and trying to block them off from above, preferably pre-building cones and floors to try and just make an edit play and get them out of your lobby. These players usually aren't very good and they aren't usually a huge deal to get rid of in a pure 1v1 fight. The issues usually arise when they have nobody fighting back against them, allowing them free reign over high ground. With that said, moving into our next player. What's a Fortnite player on this list without the good old classic W Keir? All right, we all know the W Keir by now. You're in a tournament or arena match, completely just chilling in a base, waiting for the next zone to pop up, and some absolute psycho comes out of nowhere doing literally anything in his power to kill you. Why is he here? <laughs> Nobody knows, but he's here, and his sole goal is to get you out of the lobby. Why specifically you? Hmm, well, because he just felt like it. Usually the w Kiers aren't really, really good players, but their insanely aggressive tactics tend to get into the heads of even pro-level players, giving them an edge going into fights. Okay, so if you ever had someone beam you instantly in a fight, you know the fear that you have as they slowly push up and your inevitable death awaits. That's basically what happens when you run into a w Kier. They're so aggressive. So you instantly think they're good and they're able just to win the mental game resulting in a super easy kill for them and a trip back to the lobby for you. Even bad players can get into your head and just win a fight, you know, just through doing that. So when you run into one of these guys, your best bet is to take your time and just heal up. Try using hard materials and building multiple boxes and creating distance from the W Kier. Then turn the aggression back on them like that. These players, they thrive from being in control knowing that they control the pace of the fight and that they're the ones pushing you. The second that mentality changes and you gain control of the fight is the second that they realize they just screwed up really, really bad. The best ways to take control of a fight include either getting a lot of damage off in a box fight or just pushing up for height and beating them from above, whichever way you choose to handle it. All right, do your thing. Be careful though, because these dudes, they thrive off your mistakes. So take your time, man, but also be aggressive and don't be afraid. You got this. Remember it, man. Just be confident, all right? Chances are, anyways, like these W Kiers aren't even that good at the game. Their play style just makes you assume they are. The second you realize that is the second you're going to turn really successful against these W King psychos, okay? Also, I like to mention that if you're struggling in fights, especially against a specific type of player, then you got to check out our website, ProGuides.com, where we have pro coaches who can help you spot your mistakes and improve, along with pro courses and programs, which are going to help you boost every aspect of your gameplay, man. So if you want to take your next step, like at becoming a legend in Fortnite, you got to check out ProGuides.com as fast as possible, like after the video. All right, if you've ever dropped into Caddy Corner and won the spot, you probably have seen and felt the sheer power of Kit's Shockwave Launcher. The reasoning behind this thing being added to the game is beyond my comprehension, but at the moment, it seems like it's here to stay. Fourth up on this list, we've got the Shockwave Warrior, one of the most dreaded players on the list. Have you ever gotten into a fight, been absolutely dominating the other player, then all of a sudden, <laughs> out of nowhere, they launch straight up, grab height and absolutely destroy you. If you said yes to this, then you, my friend, have run into a shockwave warrior. 
These guys are so frustrating because no matter how much you build or how hard you outplay them, they're able to keep coming back. Out of this list, like the Shockwave Warriors are definitely one of the hardest to counter. However, okay, the most effective and consistent ways we've seen are to let them get height and just break them down from there. Try to hold your height and build above them if you have the materials or simply try to just beam them while they're flying through the air. These are mostly situational, okay? It's not gonna work every single time. So the one you choose ultimately depends on your situation, but if you handle it correctly, you should be able to end up on top. Finally, the last player on this list is the one who is simply better at the game, all right? <laughs> You're gonna just play people that are just better. I mean, it's just, it is what it is, and it's the truth. Like, there's no, really no way around it. So they just outplay you, and really, that's just that. So if you've ever been in a fight and just been dominated, and it seems like your opponent just can't make a mistake, there's just a good chance that you were just up against an actual pro player. It's typically rare to run into a real pro in a game, but it's definitely a possibility, especially if you're on a decent amount of points in the tournament, or you're playing in Champs Arena, or even if you're in a high quality scrim match. Honestly, there's really no real insane trait to pro players because, you know, they're typically just good at everything. Sure, some pro players have their specialties, but pretty much all pros are generally just well-rounded players. So if you end up against a pro player, you're gonna be in a tough spot period. There's really no specific counter to pros because they obviously use a ton of different strategies and moves. But I will say this, the best way to be prepared, you know, when the inevitable happens is to practice 1v1s against skilled opponents to get used to the strategies and tactics pro level players are using in fights, all right? All right, guys, so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, those are five types of players you're gonna be running into in competitive Fortnite. Now, real quick, don't go anywhere. Let's quickly recap each type of player and how you can counter their play style. You guys ready? Here we go, Bunch of Crunch Army, hope you're still there. Here we go. First up is the SMG Abuser, and the main way to counter this type of player is to avoid letting them into your box, which is where they actually tend to play the best, and instead force them into a skilled box fight like one that actually involves builds, edits, angles, and just outplay them that way, okay? More often than not, these players rely on their SMGs to win fights, and by taking that crutch away from them, you're basically ruining their chances of ending you. All right, second is the high ground warrior. If you run into them in an end game, and you're on low to mid ground, try to apply some pressure to them and the high ground player to potentially grab a kill and consider making a high play. If you're on top and they're pushing you, Focus trying to eliminate them from above as fast as possible. Third is the classic W key here. Okay, so if you run into this guy here, and I mean like right here, your best bet is to try and turn the aggression back on them by hitting a big shot in a box fight or pushing up for high ground and just taking control that way. Either way, once you back these type of players up, like their confidence depletes and you shouldn't have much issue cleaning up the kill. All right, guys, four number four. That's funny, four number four, you get me. We've got the Shockwave Warrior. All right, most of you should already know this pretty well. To counter the Shockwave Warrior, you have three options. Either break their high ground down, like completely, when they just shockwave up and crank, or try to hold your height and build up if you have materials, or simply try to beam them midair. Ultimately, man, your play should depend on the situation, and usually, if you make the right play, these players aren't too tough to deal with. Finally, the last player on our list is a literal pro player. The likes of Booga, Dubs, and Biggie are in this category. Basically, the players who make far less mistakes in game and are insanely hard to kill. There is just really no way to beat these players, but the best way that you can be prepared is by constantly practicing build fights and box fights against other good players. If you're looking to find some good players to play against, hey, I'm gonna help you out right now, right? You can find some in our community Discord, which is gonna be linked down in the description, man. Check it out. It's free to join in our community over there. It's just, man, we're a family. You know, that's just that's just what it is. Positive, cool people. So be sure to check it out. All right, guys. Once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, Bunch of Crunch Army, man. Let's change this world. Let's help people. Let's make sure that we're positive. Let's make sure that, you know, we're helping our families and our friends and, and just honestly spreading joy everywhere we go. All right. Connect with me on my Insta. I would love to hear from you guys. With that said, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, man. And it really just helps you to learn about 
you know, some ways to counter some of the common types of players you're going to find in competitive. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Also, to subscribe, all right, to see more videos just like this every single day. We got some coming out hot every day. Also, make sure to check out our community Discord and our subreddit, both of which will be linked in the description. And finally, my friends, you better not forget to head on over to ProGuys.com for some awesome, exclusive content you're not going to find anywhere else. Keep eating that bunch of crunch, and I'll see you later. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.